This video describes some critical aspects for the distribution and installation of long-lasting insecticidal nets, or LLINs. Over the past two decades, long-lasting insecticidal nets have become one of the main measures for the control and prevention of malaria. This strategy is promoted by the World Health Organization as a protective measure because of evidence in reducing the transmission of malaria when LLINs are used appropriately and on a large scale. The insecticide in the net kills the mosquitoes on contact or repels it, significantly reducing human vector contact. A long-lasting insecticidal net is manufactured with a material which has insecticide incorporated in the fibers. These nets retain their insecticidal effect for three to five years without being retreated and are able to withstand at least 20 washes. Long-lasting insecticidal nets can be used in the field for at least three years, depending on how they are handled. For a control strategy with treated nets to be effective, there needs to be proper targeting. Through the process of stratification and targeting, prioritize the sites that have the greatest burden of malaria, whose primary vectors bite indoors, living structures are unprotected, and is culturally acceptable to use mosquito nets. Through a census of priority locations, find out the number of houses, sleeping spaces, and inhabitants in need of treated mosquito nets for protection. To achieve an epidemiological impact in reducing the number of malaria cases, coverage should be as high as possible. WHO recommends that all people at risk be covered by an effective intervention. Therefore, the higher the coverage, the better. Coverage of 90% and above is desirable. Make sure that all people who have the net actually use it. Considering the customs and needs of communities in relation to size, shapes, colors, and vector susceptibility, choose the most appropriate insecticide-treated net according to studies of biological efficacy and acceptability by the communities affected. It is important that the type of net to be distributed is recommended by the WHO Pesticide Evaluation Scheme. This is a process that requires the participation of national, regional, and local vector control programs and the participation of inhabitants of the communities that will benefit from the nets. Explain the purpose of the installation of long-lasting insecticidal nets in the home to the head of the household. Prior to the delivery, data is recorded on the number of people, sleeping spaces, rooms, and LLINs to be delivered to each home. Be sure to carefully record the data as required so it can be later digitized and entered into a database for analysis. The LLINs are installed in each sleeping space after removing any old or deteriorated mosquito nets that households might have. A sticker is placed in the dwelling with information about the date of mosquito net installation. New treated nets should be left exposed to the air for a day or minimum four to six hours before being used in order to avoid any allergic reaction to the user. Treated nets should be washed if necessary. The time between each wash must not be less than three months. LLINs should be washed with bar soap. Avoid detergents and never use chlorine-based bleaches. Wash a long-lasting insecticidal net as follows. Wash the net by hand to prevent the breakdown of the fabric. Apply the recommended soap. Rub gently into a lather. Rinse with plenty of water. Drain the net gently without wringing. Mosquito nets should be hung up in a shady location to dry. Under no circumstances should LLINs be left to soak, brushed, or hit against surfaces used for washing. The water that was used to wash the mosquito net should be discarded over dirt or soil and should not be dumped in bodies of water, such as ponds, streams, or rivers, in order to avoid insecticide contamination. The WHO has a standardized methodology to assess the residual efficacy of the nets. To learn more about this process, watch the video on evaluating insecticide in LLINs. 
You have now seen how to plan for distribution and installation of long-lasting insecticidal mosquito nets. As with any methodology, it takes practice to improve technique. No matter how many nets are distributed, it can only protect against malaria if used as recommended. It is important that there is good community education to ensure that people are encouraged to use the nets. For more information on integrated vector management or training materials, please visit our website.